and this is Kate. I am making a, a video about how to use microscopes um, today and I'm making this video from the Griswold Memorial Library. We have two microscopes that are available for people to borrow, take to their own home and use at their own home. So I wanted to make this video to show you how to use it in case you don't know how. Um, so I made a video earlier about how to use this dissection scope. This magnifies items by 10. Um, but we also have a different scope that I would like to show you how to use. It's called a compound microscope. So here's the compound microscope. It has a lot of parts. Um, it has an eyepiece, which is up here. There's a lens on the eyepiece that is removable. It slides in and out very easily. So you want to make sure you don't tip this upside down um, because this could slide out and fall on the ground. And these lenses are pretty expensive to replace if they get broken. So it's good to try to be gentle with this lens and take good care of it. So there's an eyepiece with a lens, a removable lens up here. Um, this microscope comes with an extra eyepiece, um, which I'll talk a little bit more about later. And then there are three more lenses down here. You have different options of being able to use a four times power lens a 10 times power lens or 25 times. And then, and this is already 10 times. So you've got 10 times and then 25 times. So you're looking at 250 times magnification with this eyepiece. If you wanted to use the 25 magnification piece with these other ones, then you're looking even closer, which is pretty cool. You can figure out the math on that if you'd like to. So it's good um, when you're using one of these microscopes, well, it's not good, it's crucial, that you keep this on a flat surface while you're using it. And this microscope has a light source with a cord, so you need to plug the cord in to an outlet um, or get an adult to help you with that. And then there's a little switch on the side, you just turn that on to turn the light on. Um, there is a brightness dimmer on one side, so you can make, make that light be um, more, you can make it brighter or less bright, or you can turn it off altogether. So there's a little switch I should show you. There's a little dial on this side that you can turn to tr use to turn the light, um, dim to change the light, to uh, adjust the light dimness, I should say. All right, so I've already, um, put a slide on here. This kit that we have comes with some different prepared slides. And this is really one of the most important things to remember when you're using um, a compound microscope and looking at slides is that these slides are made of glass and the edges of the glass can be really sharp. So if you run your finger along it, you can slice your finger right open. Um, so just a word of caution um, that if you are using prepared slides, um, you should be really careful with these glass edges. Um, so this came with some different slides. This is a um, paramecium, which you can't really see with your own eyes. You can, I, I can see that there's something there, but it's really hard to see what it is. Um, so if we look, use this compound microscope, we can see um, much better what's, what these things look like. There is a sample of a mouth smear. So someone took like a little bit, they didn't hurt themselves, but they just scraped a little bit of um, material out of the inside of their cheek and put it on a slide. Um, you can look at that. This is a slide of pollen, um, and this is a slide of frog blood. Um, and I got one slide in here, um, but I think I'm going to look at the pollen today. So if you want to look at the slide, what you can do is put it on, um, this is the plate right here, and these are called plate clips. So you want to just gently pick up these plate clips, put the slide under there on the lens. And then this is the other really important thing about using this microscope is that it doesn't usually happen with this, um, with this lens, but if you are using the longest lens down here, this 25 um, powered lens, um, what you really want to do is before you start adjusting the knobs, is you want to make the plate go as high as you can go without touching this lens. Because if you just go cranking on this plate and make it go all the way up, it can hit 
the long lens and crush it and break it. And like I said before, these lenses are expensive. So that's one thing you just want to remember to do when you're using this compound scope, especially when you're using the 25 lens, but I just do it all the time um, to make sure I'm in the habit of it. So what you want to do is start out before you start looking in and adjusting. You want to start out by putting the plate as high as it can go without touching the bottom of that lens. So I'm going to go all the way up. This, this scope was made for kids. So it might have a stop before we even get there, but I'm going to be really careful just in case. Okay, I think that's as high as I can go without touching it. So I'm going to look in here, and then this, um, this compound scope only has one eyepiece, so you have to look with just one eye. So I'm going to look with just one eye, and I'm going to be really careful not to dial up. I'm only going to dial down. Um, am I on here? Okay, I've got my light on. I'm going to turn the knob down until this comes into focus. Let's see. It still looks blurry. You have to be patient sometimes when using microscopes. Okay, I'm starting to see something come into focus. I think I'm going to move the slide a little bit. I need to go back up, so I'm going to be careful to go up without hitting the lens, and then go back down. All right, still not seeing much. Sometimes when you're using a microscope, you need to adjust the light to be brighter. I need to move this slide around in just the right spot. So, I'm going to try again, going up and going back down. I'm using a lot of patience. Hmm, I still don't see the pollen. I don't want to give up. It seems that the pollen is not centered on the slide. Maybe I should try, rather than starting with the 25, maybe I should try starting with the 4 and see what that does for me. So again, I'm going to move this all the way up. Oh, now I see it. Perfect. Maybe 25 was too close. Okay, I'm going to adjust. I see a bunch of little, little dots, little red dots. Some of them have squiggles at the end of them. It's pretty cool. Um, so that's how you look at a slide through a compound microscope. Um, just remember to turn the light off when you're done and unplug it. And I hope you're able to borrow this sometime and look at some items at home. Um, as I said, this um, compound mic microscope that we had comes with a number of prepared slides. Um, but I'm actually going to make another video and show you how to make your own slides as well. Um, so uh, you can watch that and you can make your own slides. And our, mi our microscope, our compound microscope kit that you can take out from the library actually has a lot of, um, of blank slides that you are welcome to use a number of um, yourself to make your own slides. And then um, you could keep those slides if you wanted to keep two or three, maybe four that would be fine because we have a big box of slides and if we run out we can buy more. Um.